My name is Birgitte and I am born in Copenhagen and moved to Sweden out in nature. I'm a writer and photographer and I want to take you along on a journey with me that I took in 2003. The war had just broke out and I landed in Iraq and I landed in Copenhagen. There was chaos because of that in all the newspapers, TV, everything was just about that war. I continued on to fly further up to northern part of Sweden to Lapland, the most northern city in Sweden called Kiona. There I boarded on a double-decker as the only passenger for four hours to drive south to the main town of the Sami people called Jokmok. At Jokmok coming to the hotel, I ran in to see what would they write about the war. There was nothing on the front pages in Jokmok, Lapland. There was only a little notice inside the newspaper that we Sami do not like war. It, I further investigated and the Sami people have never been at war. They have been colonized as so many other indigenous people, but never went to war. From there I was invited to different homes of the artists doing their own old, old tradition utensils, all made by products from nature. Further on, I came back later on in summer to meet with the uh, reindeer herders. So I want to take you through the photos first and I will come back talking a little more later on. You know, every photo has its story. But I came forth and back to Lapland and lived with the Sami reindeer herders several times in different seasons. And I also paid visit to the wonderful arts and craftsmen and sat down in their homes and talked and looked at what, how they are doing their arts and crafts things. So every photo speaks on its own in a way, when you go through them. At first I went to the winter market and I went to see the artist people. And then I stayed at, which you will see on my photo too, at a quota on the other side of the lake. And I was the only guest there that night. And when I woke up, it was ice indoor on the window. But I had met at the market somebody who was selling reindeer meat. So wanting to go into Pajulanda, I called up the helicopter company and said, can you please fly me into Pajulanda? And they said, no, not unless you have an invitation from a Sami. So I wrote this person, Helena Lenta, that is her name, uh, that I knew had to do with reindeers. And it took a while before she answered me back. And then she said, you are welcome to join me and my family. And we live in Kachilanda during the summer. So that was pure luck because there are many places where the reindeer herders go. And then she said, now you cannot contact me. I am moving into the mountains. So we just expect you to arrive that and that day. 
And I was thinking when driving up, whoa, do I find them in Patjelanta or what? So when the helicopter went down in Arschlukta where they live, and an elderly man stepped out of the helicopter, I said to the pilot, but he's here, I, I have to step out too. And he said, no, I have to fly you to Stalulukta because you are not a Sami. So I flew to Stalulukta and then the family Lenta came in a boat to pick me up there to sail me back to Arschlukta. That is how protective they are of their tradition and their livelihood, which I respect very much. The reason why I wrote the book Eight Seasons was because listening to their stories, a lady told me that many of the Sami people have traveled the world, which amazed me when they live so far north. And she said, we know they exist a world outside ours, and we want to know more about it. But we are amazed that so few know that our world exists. And that made me write down all their stories. So that said, if we still are intruding in on their land, that without any grazing land for the reindeers, there will be no reindeers. And with no reindeers, there will be no Sami culture left. As Henry Turu once wrote, that in the wilderness we preserve our world. So why don't we build bridges together and over all the various cultures and help to understand and protect those values in harmony for the world.